If you could only watch one superhero movie franchise for the rest of your life, are you choosing Iron Man or Batman? Comment below and you will see this week if your answer matches up with Thomas Rhett's answer in the Country Music Update. I'm Greg Reynolds. First, we say congratulations and O oh, Canada to Tennille Arts, who scored her very first U.S. country chart number one with somebody like that this week, and she had a pretty awesome reaction. Now, not only is this her very first number one, it's the first Canadian artist to go number one in the U.S. since Emerson Drive in 2007. Shout out. And the very first number one song on the U.S. country charts that was written, produced, and sung all by incredible women. This song truly is groundbreaking and super special to Tennille Arts, who told me that it was all inspired by watching her grandparents love growing up. Who was the relationship that you had in your mind that, that you wanted something like that? Was that your parents or was that somebody else? I mean, it was kind of a combination of a few because, yeah, I, I was really lucky to grow up around some great relationships. But the one that like really popped into my mind was my grandparents because I had uh, just lost my grandpa right before um, writing this and and he and my grandma just like had such a, a great relationship and they were just so funny and they took care of each other and like I think about my my grandma would get her sorry this is like a side story but my grandma would get her hair done like downtown in Mydale Saskatchewan and um, one time she did not like the way her hair turned out and it was, you know, a disaster, she thought. So uh, she came home and my my grandpa fixed her hair for her. And so they actually cut each other's hair for like the longest time. And it was just the sweetest um, thing I had ever seen. How sweet is that? Speaking of watch and love, you can watch the love story between Luke Combs and his now wife, Nicole, in the new video for the latest single from Luke, Forever After All. And finally, if you were to only watch one superhero movie franchise for the rest of your life, is it Iron Man movies or Batman movies? Here's what Thomas Rhett told me. They're both so good. Um, but I think The Dark Knight is like one of my favorite movies of all time. So I'm going to go with Batman. Now, he also told me about the inspiration behind his latest single and the title track to his latest album, which just dropped, Country Again, Side A. Here's what he had to say about being inspired to kind of get back to his roots. Yeah, I mean, just country again, man. Every time I hear it, I, I just feel like we all need that grounding place or that grounding spot in our life where you just need to feel like yourself again. And that seems like you went through something like that during this pandemic where you found yourself again. Absolutely, man. You know, I, and I could I could blame it on 2020, but it, it also kind of started to ultimately kind of shift in me early 2019 as well when I was out on the road. And um, I just noticed myself just writing different songs and I noticed myself wanting to just kind of sit with a guitar and pour my heart out into a into a sad country song. And and um, the, the very first song I wrote on Zoom was Country Again. And I'd had that title on my phone for so long, but I had no idea what it meant or what to say. And then you live enough of a, uh, a pandemic type year and you go, dang, man, like I've gotten to do some things this year that I haven't done in a long time. Things that I love, you know, like fishing with my dad or getting outside with my kids or really just like learning how to enjoy the little things in life again. And so for me, in a nutshell, that song was like, I kind of learned how to be live simply again. You know, I kind of learned how to live without the rat race. And uh, it was just a very freeing moment. And uh, that, that turned into to that song that I think a lot of people needed to hear. So is it one where you knew on that zoom, right? You're like, this is going to be special because it's, it, it is on fire everywhere right now. Did you know the minute that zoom ended that you had something? I just knew that we wrote the crap out of it. That's all I knew. You know, it was like, I, I remember when my buddy Ashley Gorley had that first line that I quit hunting with my daddy. I guess I didn't make the time. And that just hit me like a ton of bricks, man, because it, it's so true. And then, and then we started, I started to think about all these moments in my life. Like, you know, I haven't seen some of my college friends in two years, you know, like I, I sometimes I'd come home off the road and, and my mind, my body would be at home, but my mind was still elsewhere. And it was so nice to be able to kind of get rid of that way of thinking and like really learn how to live in the present. And uh, so, yeah, when we finished that song, I was like, I don't know what this does for anybody or, but I know what it does for me. And, and usually if I'm going through something like that, I can guarantee that there's a lot of people in the world that are going through something like that as well. You can check out my full interview with Thomas, including bits about how he celebrated his ACM win with the girls, 
what song he is most excited for you to hear off the latest album and more on this YouTube page on Barn 49. I'm Greg Reynolds with another country music update.